The topic of this video is properties of horizontal and vertical lines. Let's solve two problems. Here's the first one. Find the equation of a line that is parallel to the line x equals negative 12 and contains the point negative 5 comma 1. All right, so there are a few things that we want to keep in mind with a problem like this one. The first is we need to know the four facts that were explained in the previous video because those are going to help us solve this problem. For example, we need to find an equation of a line that's parallel to x equals negative 12. What kind of line is x equals negative 12? x equals negative 12 is a vertical line. Any line with an equation of the form x equals number is a vertical line. We can create a quick sketch of this line. We know that x equals negative 12. And we know that it's a vertical line. So it looks like this. All right. Now, we need to find an equation of a line that's parallel to this line, but goes through the ordered pair negative 5 comma 1. All right, let's plot that point. Negative 5 comma 1 would be right here. All right, so the line that we're going to create needs to be parallel. Parallel lines don't touch. What that means is they have the same slope. So if I take this line and then I slide my straight edge over until I reach this line and draw a line with the same slope, what kind of line will that be? Well, it'll be a vertical line. This makes sense if you think about it. A line parallel to a vertical line must be another vertical line. All right, so this is the line we're looking for, but what is its equation? Well, as a vertical line, its equation is x equals some number. And that number is the x-coordinate of every point on the line, including this one. The x-coordinate of this point is negative 5. So the equation of the line we're looking for is x equals negative 5. Now, it's my hope that given enough practice and given a thorough understanding of the four facts regarding horizontal and vertical lines, you won't have to do any work at all for a problem like this. You won't have to draw any pictures. You'll just think your way through the logic. x equals negative 12 is vertical. Something parallel to a vertical line is another vertical line. And the equation of a vertical line that goes through negative 5 comma 1 must be x equals negative 5. OK, let's look at our next problem. Find the slope and y-intercept of the line y equals negative 1. Express the intercept as an ordered pair. Graph the line. All right. What do we know about y equals negative 1? Well, we know it's horizontal. And based on the four facts, that tells us some interesting things. First of all, as a horizontal line, its slope is 0. Next, we know that if a line is horizontal and its equation is y equals negative 1, that this number right here represents the y-coordinate of every point on that line including the y-intercept. Therefore, the y-intercept must be negative 1. As an ordered pair, that would be the coordinates 0, comma, negative 1, because for a y-intercept, x is 0. OK, so we found the slope and the y-intercept. The only thing left to do now is to graph the line. We know that it's a horizontal line. And we know that the y-intercept is negative 1. So we'll plot the y-intercept first. And draw a horizontal line. As with any graph, it should be labeled with a y on the positive side of the y, an x on the positive side of the x, as well as a scale. OK, we've now completed both problems involving finding properties of horizontal and vertical lines.